So if you're looking for a graphics card right now under or around $300, you're actually in luck because there's some pretty good options right now. But there's also some not so great options depending on what you're actually trying to accomplish. And the first card I have up here on the screen right now is a good example of what you probably don't want. Now this is the RTX 5050 by Nvidia. So it's about $250 here on Amazon, which is one of the better, probably the best price you're gonna find on any of these. Um, you might be able to find some of the others for around 250 at times. I'm sure you can find some deals, but this one's overall kind of the cheapest. It's a newer, really budget card by Nvidia. You know, it's okay, but the value you get for it really just isn't very good, especially compared to some of these other options. So this is one I would generally recommend staying away from unless you're just on a super tight budget and you have to have an NVIDIA card over AMD. But really, there's no great reason to get the RTX 5050 if you can keep from it. And that brings us to our next option, which is the RTX 5060. This listing is for $299 currently. You can probably find this one for a little bit less at times, I would imagine. But this RTX 5060 has 8 gigabytes of VRAM. And overall, it's going to give you pretty much improved performance over that 5050 for only another $50 or so in this case, depending on what prices you find. Um, and this is just going to be a much better value for the NVIDIA cards as far as the really budget and new 50 series NVIDIA cards go. You're going to have a very good experience gaming, especially in 1080p with this card for 300 bucks. You really cannot go wrong in my opinion. I myself am someone who always just usually sticks with NVIDIA. I do think there's great value in AMD, which we're about to get to those options next, especially if you're just gaming. If you're like me and you do a lot of video editing and things like that, a lot of productivity stuff, NVIDIA does still kind of have the upper hand in terms of their encoding and things like that. Um, so if you're really into video editing and stuff, I would personally recommend sticking with NVIDIA. But if you're looking for just maximum gaming performance for your money, you want to take a look at these next options. So this next one is the RX 9060 XT by AMD. This is another eight gigabyte VRAM card. So these eight gigabyte VRAM cards anymore are primarily for 1080p gamers. You could run some 1440p low settings on these cards and depending what FPS goal you're trying to hit and what title it is, you could get away with a little bit of 1440p gaming on low settings on certain titles, but these are really more for your 1080p low to medium settings, maybe high even, it depends on the title and depends what FPS you're expecting to get. But this one is generally not recommended by people a ton. I mean, this one comes in at $270, but this one is generally not recommended just because it has eight gigabytes of VRAM. But this card itself does offer very, very good value in terms of the performance you're gonna get for your money. Um, and it's actually under $300, pretty well under. This one's 270. Might even be able to find some a little bit less than this. I'm not sure. I will link to all the cards in this video down below. So if you want to check those out, click the link and buy anything on Amazon. Help support the channel at no extra cost to you. And I do greatly appreciate it as they are affiliate links. So if you're looking for like maximum value under $300 for 1080p gaming, you're probably going to really enjoy this 9060 XT 8 gigabyte version. But that brings us to our next one. And that's going to be the RX 9060 XT again, but this is the 16 gigabyte VRAM version. Now this one is about another hundred dollars over the 9060 xt 8 gigabyte vram version but what you're going to get with that extra vram is the capability to actually play 1440p or even just higher settings in general in pretty much any title you want without limitation so if you do have the extra money to put out for the 16 gigabyte version it's definitely going to be better and worth the money in my opinion for sure so to kind of summarize, if you're looking for really the like maximized value for your money and you have the money, X96 XT 16 gigabyte version is gonna give you some really great value and you're gonna be able to even game on 1440p and high settings and not have to worry about anything. But you're gonna be paying around $370 in this case. If you're just looking for maximum value for 1080p gaming and you're not worried about 1440p and you're not worried about running just max settings on games, you're gonna get some really great value out of the 9060 XT 8 gigabyte. For as far as gaming performance, you can't really beat this value right now other than maybe the 16 gig version. But for 1080p, this is like the best new graphics card you could get right now pretty much. And then on the flip side with Nvidia, the 5060 8 gigabyte is definitely, you know, pretty good value here um, and good performance, very comparable performance to the 9060 XT 8 gigabyte. Although the, RX, the 8 gigabyte 9060 is going to give you 
a little bit better performance in some titles for the money because you got to consider that in this case it's like thirty dollars cheaper and it's going to give you the same or maybe a little bit better maybe a little bit worse performance depending on the title they're really tight so they're very comparable and this one's a little cheaper so naturally it, it's more 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 performance for your money basically but on the flip side like i said nvidia if you're into productivity like me and you just want to stick with nvidia ideally you want to get at least the 50 68 gigabyte that's gonna be great for 1080p and also good for productivity uh, video editing and coding recording things like that and then as far as the 50 50 goes again just to reiterate wouldn't really recommend this for 250 dollars especially if you're just buying something for gaming you're going to get much better performance out of something like the 9060 xt even the 8 gigabyte version it's going to give you good bit better performance than this 50 50 so i can't really justify buying this um, if you have to have NVIDIA, just go with the 5060. So I was just editing this video about to get it done and I realized I didn't talk about this GPU, which people might comment about. So I wanted to talk about it real quick. The Intel Arc B580, this is a $250 uh, graphics card you can find. That's a, bud a good budget option. Um, this one's 299, but you can find it for like 250 at, at times, um, but it's pretty good i did just watch a benchmark though just to kind of refresh my mind on it i'm just not a fan of intel gpus to me it's just weird i know they they've got, it's got good value um overall um so intel's doing good things in that regard um and this one has 12 gigabytes of vram so compared to the other ones in this video other than the 16 gig uh amd uh, gpu this one has more uh vram which is its selling point but from what i've seen really it just doesn't really offer much better performance if anything a little bit worse performance than even the 5050 um so the only thing really going for it is that it has more vram so if you do want to turn up your settings a little bit you know it's kind of better but in my opinion i wouldn't get it unless you just have a reason that you want uh 12 gigs of vram on a budget but i think for most people going with one of the other options is going to be generally better that's it for this video hopefully it answered any questions you guys had that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.